Well, my name is Basil Kersky. I'm editor-in-chief of a bilingual German-Polish magazine, Dialog. Uh, but I'm also here as the director of the European Solidarity Solidarność Center. This is a place of commemoration of one of the biggest civic movements, Solidarność, Solidarity, that was born in Gdańsk in 1980, uh, that opened, started the process of a peaceful revolution in Central and Eastern Europe. So Solidarność was, for example, the precondition for the Berlin Wall to come down. But our most important goal is to defend democratic society, democratic values, by not only commemorating, uh, but educating, well, civic culture to all generations, not only young group. And I would say this is a typical transformation of museums because uh, museums or places of commemoration are today not closed shops, only concentrated on the past, but places, public pa places asking what, 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 is, uh, what is now going on, uh, to which direction will lead us history and the presence. My family is in Berlin. <laughs> I'm paying there my taxes. I'm working in Poland in Gdańsk. Uh, I'm also paying there my taxes uh, and on the other side I'm uh, responsible for a national institution only found by Poles, financed by Poles, but it's dedicated to all Europeans. So for me it's a European reality. I'm, I'm living in a European reality. But on the other side, as, as a son of an Iraqi um, and of a Polish mother living in Germany, I know how limited my competences are. <laughs> I feel like a European, but I'm not specialized, for example, in, in, in problems of Portugal or Greece. It is very difficult. It's an utopia to be a European. But European reality gives us a great chance to be much more cosmopolitan in our lives than we could. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm a person that lived in divided Berlin, in the western part. So I, I, my generation experienced the, the division of Europe. So for me, European, or Europe, also European Union, is, is something very real, something very new and very attractive for, for these reasons.